Hey everybody. Um, so today uh, we're going to go through my worm bin. I started this worm bin about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. I haven't actually like dumped everything out and looked thro through it to see how the worms were doing. When I got them, I ordered them on, um, I think it was Amazon, um, from a grower. And so I bought eggs. So I haven't even seen if they've hatched yet. Um, I did see like one little worm the other day when I was adding food, but I have not dug in this. So this is gonna be a first for me and for you. So let's go ahead and look through it <clears throat> and talk about what I've done so far um, as far as maintaining them. Um, well, hopefully there's worms in there, but as far as maintaining them and feeding them and then, um, you know, we might even go take a tour of my little like outdoor garden and see what needs neat reseeding because I did plant um, about a week and a half before this last freeze. And um, as of yesterday, I noticed some bare pots, so we might replant. We'll see. Either way, glad to have you. Okay, so there is quite a bit of material that came out of that five gallon bucket. I've got Junior here now. He wants to help me dig in here. Um, I'm going to let him. So here you can see these are some blue bonnet holes from me spreading blue bonnet seeds. Should Let's see. Should I do it? Yeah, go ahead, dig in it. Wait, let me roll up your sleeve. Got him. Okay, be soft. You want to look for worms. Do you want to go Tell Mama if you see any worms. Wait, you see worms? Can you see worms? Oh, wait. Right there. That one. Oh, I see a nice one right here. So what do you get out Keep to? looking. Oh, there's uh, another baby down here. Get some... Oh, and some more. I'm sure they all went down. Duper. Whenever I poured it out, I see some there. Be very soft, baby. Don't kill the worms. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're looking good. We are looking good. I'm seeing quite a bit of worms throughout this bin. So we've gone through the worms. What I just did, was I took a bucket lid and poked some holes in the top. And I'm now going to use that to cover the top to keep gnats and to keep other things out, to keep it dark, to prevent the worms from leaving. Um, and then I also put holes in the bottom of our worm bucket to help drain into this bucket. And that will give me a concentrated compost tea that I can then water down and apply to my plants. And uh, you can also do like a microbial inoculant for your seeds. Um, and it just helps them get a better start. So let's go ahead and get our worm and worm media back into the bucket. And then um, I'm gonna add a little bit of food and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, Junior, let's put the worms back in the bucket. Should I do it? Yeah. Help, be soft. Just scoop them, put them in. And the worms will kind of figure out where they want to be. Good job, big helper. Big one. Mm hmm. The big one. Yeah. Look at the big pile. Mm hmm. Okay, so this is going to be our food. This is non-medicated chick starter. Hi, sweet girl. Get back. And we're going to go ahead and kind of sprinkle this. Just kind of spread that around because sweet girl had it all come out the pile. I'm going to take these corn tortillas and I'm going to grind them up fairly fine in my hand. Just kind of... Sweet girl, get back. Thank you. I'm grind these up in my hand. Go back and get some of these a little finer. So as you saw, those chunks that were in there were the bigger ones. They can eat all this smaller stuff fairly quick. Yeah. No, baby, just wait. Mommy's gonna need your help in a second. Corn tortillas. So we got it all back in here. Um, as y'all can tell, this bucket is not completely full and um, it's because I left room to grow. As more stuff is added into here, it will grow up. And it also kind of like deters the worms from trying to climb up the walls. So 
now that we got a little bucket on the bottom, I want to see if anything's dripping down into it. Junior, pull the yellow bucket, or pull white bucket handle. Pull them down, pull them down. Pull them, oh, good job. You did it. Yeah, we've already got some concentrate dripping down in there. That's awesome. Okay, no, no more. Okay, so now we're going to put our lid on. And he's going back in the house. Ugh. Make sure that's all good. Perfect. Okay. Let's go check on the chickens and water the garden. This year we are doing a container garden for the most part. Um, and then I also have like a garden bed up over that grass horizon. So let's go ahead and water these. As I find the hose. We did get some mist yesterday, but I don't think it was quite enough. So a lot of these, I honestly don't know what they are. Some of them I do, uh, but me and my son planted these, and I don't really know where everything went, so it's going to be a kind of a surprise, but I did plant a lot of stuff I was excited about, so that's exciting. Maybe get that feed bag. And then these, of course, a lot of them will be transplanted into, like, the ground or bigger spots. This was newly transplanted out here. Some carrot, or uh, some dill going there. Some other stuff that I'm gonna come back and like replant like this just has one coming up that one doesn't have any like some of these don't have any coming up so I'll come back and replant them so check on the chickens hey guys how we doing oh, I see two eggs in there Let me go ahead and get them some fresh grass yeah get them some grass Normally I move this. I'm waiting for this grass to come back up. There's not much over here. I could move them to where they have this space. I'm gonna do that. Gotta go in and rearrange them, move their water over, and then get in there and I'll slide the pen over. I got those two eggs. And I got this moved. So this is our little chicken tractor. Let's see, they got fresh grass in there now. Um, it's a little heavy, but um, one person can move it. It'd be easier if two people were moving it, which normally we do, but my husband's at work, Philip is at work, so I moved it myself. You can see that's where I had tossed that grass earlier. You now they got some fresh grass, got their water bucket here, a mess box, and then I normally will put like some pellet and some scratch in there. And they also get like beans and rice and stuff like that. Hold him. Wait, no, no, no. No. Thank you. Okay, there. Can you give it to the chickens? Yeah. Yeah, let mommy put him on the pile. Yeah. Here. Ready to give it to him? Come over here. Throw it in. Good job. Okay, come on. Normally I like to scatter it. That's okay. Thank y'all so much for joining us. I really have a lot of fun making these videos and kind of showing y'all some of the little things we're doing. Um, definitely some big plans in the future as I'm going to be uh, working on some regenerative agriculture measures out in uh, Brock on our farm and uh, I'm excited to take y'all along and to document it and to kind of spread the word about how we don't need to be necessarily sustainable. Sustainable is is giving back just as much as you're taking out. It's being sustainable. It's, it's being level. 
I want to be regenerative, which means we're adding more than we're taking out. And to me, that is the future. I mean, that's how we will save this earth and fix our soils and like put back more and to build a better future for our children and our families. I mean, sustainable is definitely better than conventional, how, um, you know, our giant monocultures are, but I definitely want to do more. And I hope that y'all join me on the journey. See y'all later. Um, 